You think they're getting tired of looking at our faces or more mine than yours? I don't know. Are they going to be? St I, I think they're going to be starting to think what's going on with Borde and Pruitt here. But it's just all right. Don't, just don't tell my wife or my boyfriend. <laughs> Marshall Pruitt, Sebastian Borde. Man, we're just tearing up the old videos here in Florida, huh? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's recording time, I guess. But uh, at least it's not freezing anymore. Yes. Yeah, see. I do have short sleeve stuff and I'm not just being an idiot. <laughs> All right, so day one of 2018 IndyCar testing. A little bit of an interesting thing. Spoke with Rob Edwards yesterday from Andretti Autosport. Teams are getting five hours of testing. It's Dale Coyne Racing and Andretti Autosport only today. Chip Ganassi Racing get added in tomorrow. We had a couple of shakedown laps this morning with Alexander Rossi taking out Ryan Hunter Ray's car. That went kaput about 15 seconds into the run they had to haul him back and a quick little fix don't know what it was but got going after that so Rossi did his four full laps Veach took out I think Mark Andretti's car for one lap Veach has been out in his own car which we can't show at the request of Andretti Autosport they're going to do a big reveal of the livery but then we have this guy over here who's been doing some testing his first laps in the Dale Coyne Racing 2018 body worked Honda Tell us about the electronics and how everything's been perfect. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And uh, initial impressions of the car. Wink, wink, uh, new car problems, I guess. You know, obviously a new data system, new everything on the car, new aero. Um, yeah, just, just got to work the kinks of, of the whole thing. And, you know, the guys did a really good job. Everything functions, but um, there's a lot of, you know, zeros and, and communicating between the new uh, software and and you know and everything so it's uh the dash works everything kind of works it's just uh, we're not really getting values or you know stuff like that so it's just calibration which you unfortunately can only start working on once you hit the track yeah. hence the five hours you know extra that uh, we're getting from indycar so uh yeah it's 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 good we knew it was going to be like that i'm um, going to get some kind of something as far as what the behavior of the car is uh, work has already started and uh, yeah just uh, definitely a very different animal from what we've had in the last three years so uh, and there's going to be work to do and uh, you know it starts today so you traditionally like a very stable and planted rear end to work from initial laps only and i realize that there's going to be a lot of setup work going on but uh your hands are moving pretty quick and she was dancing beneath you there yeah it's a it's, it's a very different animal it's uh, definitely uh, we're gonna have to work you know and 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 rethink a lot of setups uh, it's, it's very rear right eye sensitive so as soon as you hit the brakes then the rear gets up you lose a lot of rear downforce and the thing starts moving around so uh but you know it's it's what we get paid for, you know, just figuring it out and then working our way through it. So it's just going to be something different. And, uh, you know, it's always an opportunity to rethink uh, and reinvent the wheel a little bit. So, you know, I've got obviously Olivier and Craig uh, thinking and working hard at it. So with Mike and, you know, we'll, we'll find solutions. It's just going to take a little bit of time. How do you like that for a jump cut? That's no longer Sebastian Bourdais. Uh, I'm an orc. This is an elf. Basically, yeah. Marshall Pruitt, Zach Veach. Zach, you just spent your first day as an official Andretti Auto Sport IndyCar driver. Tell me about the experience of uh, piloting your number 26 Honda, what that was like, uh, body kit's different, other things are different. How much did you soak in? Oh man, it's some of the most fun I've ever had. Wow. I mean, uh, just being here at Sebring, obviously, and with the aero kit, I I'm lucky because you know, I've got to drive both the older kit and the new, but I didn't have that much time to kind of create habits with the old kit. The car feels like a proper race car again. It feels much closer to what we had in Indy Lights, and that's basically just the car is constantly moving under you. You know, you find yourselves on the entry of the corner, you know, doing two or three little catches before you find the middle and, and off. Do you like that? I do, yeah. It's it's a little tougher to get used to because the Indy car breaks away a little quicker than a lights car, but I mean, for everything what we wanted to accomplish today, we, we checked all the boxes and more. I mean, we're extremely happy with the speed, and the learning is, is there, so uh, it's awesome first day for us so at the request of your team and your sponsor you will be seeing no footage of zach going around <laughs> quick like a bunny they want to do a reveal of the group 1001 livery and whatnot tell me about working with them all right rossi we're trying to have a conversation <laughs> dude i'm really sick and tired of your attitude over there um tell me about working with them the, the guys at group 1001 are, are great to work with just because they understand you know 
making a race car look good. You know, that was one of the biggest things. Is their scheme is going to be new to IndyCar. I think the the color combination is something that we haven't really seen that often. It, it's similar to one or two cars, but it's definitely going to stand out. It's so, clear. Look, it's, I'll it's give clear. you the hint it's right invisible. now. It's clear. Uh -huh. But you know, for us working with them, I mean, it was pretty easy. They knew exactly what they wanted, and and Dreddy knew exactly how to put the lines on the car to make it look good. And couple versions and then the car was painted and ready to go so I think uh, we're gonna have definitely different schemes throughout the year uh, this will be what we're starting off with but I think uh, people are gonna love it they, they should I love it it's my favorite car that I've had and that's not just because it's an Indy car I mean it does look that good so last question for you Zach tell me about takeaways from today again we're only it was a five-hour test window you got a couple hours of on-track time so it's not like you've been able to master the car uh, in one day but what takeaways are you going to bring with you into future test days from what you learned? Yeah, for me, it's just good to have that, that data set of what I need to improve on. So it gives me something to go home and think about. You know, I, luckily, you know, I had Rossi running today, and he's extremely quick. So I had a, an awesome target to shoot towards. And other things to take away is this is the first time I really got to run, you know, three sets of new tires, uh, you know, in a five-hour window on road course. So I got to understand the new tire process a little bit. Then just getting laps in this car as far as understanding the aero kit, understanding how deep these cars can break again, because compared to the lights car, it's night and day, you know, it's it's a whole marker and a half further into the corner. And the important thing, honestly, is just slowing everything down. Interesting. The, the first outing, you know, for me, I was like, wow, man, Indy cars are quick. Oh, there was uh, a couple, little bit of, uh, there were some fast hands. I saw you catch a couple of yeah, impressive it, slides. It's one of those things where mentally, you know, we've been out of a race car, you know, since May, basically. Yeah. So it just takes a few runs for your mind to take, you know, 180 miles an hour and breaking, you know, at the 200 mark, just to slow it all down to saying, oh, okay, yeah, this is this is nothing new. I know what to expect now. And uh, yeah, it was eye opening. It was like being shot out of a cannon that first run, but it was a good cannon to be in. <laughs> all right. Well, glad to see things have gone well for you. Now we're gonna do an awkward transition back to me and Bourdais. So say hi to Seb. How's it going, Sebastian? So we're here about an hour or so into that five hour block. Car is right behind us under the tent on the setup pad. A little bit of work going on there. What do you think the rest of your day is going to be like? You think you're going to be in the car once it comes back out, like stay in the whole time or more uh, hopping in and out? Yeah, it is going to be some back and forth. Uh, definitely the, the data system is going to take you know, quite a bit of time. I don't think we'll get everything sorted, um, you know, between the now and, and the end of this. So, you know, hopefully we get through most we can so next time we hit the track on one of our three private test days uh, you know we can really start getting data and, and start really analyzing what's going on because uh, obviously these days when uh, as, you know find uh, as the cars are if you don't get data that you know you can rely on it it makes things very difficult the, the drivers feel is not enough to really read the picture I uh, can only tell them what the car is doing but you know you need to understand why it's doing that and, uh, and it's related to the aero map and, and everything and so on and so forth. So uh, it's going to be exciting, but it's going to take a lot of work. And uh, my, my man Ross is going to be busy with T-Max for sure. <laughs> so tomorrow uh, we're going to have Zachary Clayman DeMello climbing into your car, I believe. So you say. So I say. I've seen the guy here. He's hanging around. It'd be strange if he didn't. Um, we're going to have Scott Dixon out. Ed Jones is supposed to be out. Do you hang out tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be there. I'm not going to be driving. Uh, obviously, we only have one car. So if, if he runs, I'll be doing the first run of the day like we used to, we're, we're allowed to. Um, but that's going to be that. And, uh, and then I'll you know try and participate whichever way I can um, from the sideline. But uh, it's uh, it's very, very limited testing, as you know. So uh, you know now we're going to start into our location right after this. So we'd, we'd better make good use of it. He's such a good teammate, just here to support people and you feel the love. All right, well, we got a little bit of cloud We'll, we'll get out before it starts raining because yeah. it seems to be on the way too, so we'll see what happens. Marshall Pruitt, Sebastian Bourdais, thanks for following. See you next time.